Hello everybody, man, today was interesting, so I woke up about 12 p.m. yesterday, I've been awake since, it's now 11.49, so when it hits midnight, that'll be 32 hours straight of being awake. But I gotta make these bitches. <clears throat> it's uh, Sunday. Tomorrow's Memorial Day. Very serious day. Kind of. Kind of makes me upset how so many people have such a negative attitude towards the military. Um. Law enforcement too, but military especially because it's like. You have the freedom in this country to say and do damn near anything you want, so long as you're not hurting someone or you're inciting violence. Those are the only two things that are not covered under the Constitution, is inciting violence and, you know, trying to get someone hurt through language, you know, through speech. And there's almost no other country in the world that I can think of that you can get away with what we Americans say and do without legal repercussions. I mean, hell, in China, if you speak against China, they disappear your ass. You know what I mean? Russia, Cuba, places where censorship rules. You're not allowed to have an opinion outside of the collective. Or the establishment in place at the time. Whereas in America, you can say pretty almost anything you want about the establishment, about who's in charge. Just watching my little minions get their full I just you know the 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 you look at the riots like in Portland and stuff and so these people really think they're on the right side everyone does everyone thinks they're on the right side <clears throat> which is comical in a way you know I used to really believe that our country was the greatest country in the world because we had a two party system two different ideas of thought but lately I'm seeing a lot of hate coming from the left towards the troops like um Kamala Harris, enjoy the long weekend with a selfie, nothing about the troops, you know, Biden, all of them, it's just, when, one thing you can say about Trump is when he was in office, the our veterans were highly celebrated and highly respected, now it's like they're almost trying to revert back to like when they came back from Nam and they were pariahs and baby killers and monsters and at the end of the day you're grilling that steak on your back porch because of them you're driving that car because of them you're not speaking German because of them so just wanted to do a small video I'm too tired to go too far into details about stuff but I wanted to wish y'all a happy Memorial Day if you lost anyone um, I'll praying for you. Thank you for your sacrifice. There are those of us out there that really do appreciate it. And um, I hope they live on forever in your hearts. And it's a joy to know that there are still people out there who do appreciate the military. And um, just know, like, every time you do something in this country, it wasn't free. If you 
use any bit of the freedoms you have in this country, know that they were bought and paid for. They were not free. Freedom is not free. I saw a quote, I forgot who said it, but he said, countries wage, the countries wage war for what they don't have. And a lot of countries fight for territory, political stuff, religious stuff. But America has always tended to fight for freedom. Say what you want about how it's handled, but we the end-all-be-all goal is freedom. You can never have too much freedom. So, just know when you're stomping on that flag... A lot of men paid the ultimate price for you to have that right, if you want to call it that. And if you want to shit talk the government, you have every right. But just remember, every step you take in those whatever direction you choose politically, or ideologically, or religiously, it was bought and paid for by someone else's sacrifice. Limbs psychological health, lives, families. <clears throat> it's like that movie quote. Can't remember which movie it was. It was an older movie. But, um... There's two doctors doing surgery. And they're talking about the war or whatever. And one of them says, yeah, war is hell. And the other doctor says, no. War is war and hell is hell. And the other doctor's like, what, what do you mean? He says, like, think about hell. Everyone in hell deserves to be in hell. That's why they're in hell. There are no innocent bystanders in hell. War is filled with innocent bystanders. In fact, except for some of the higher-ups, everyone is an innocent bystander in a war. Keep that in mind. And also keep in mind, I've been seeing this quote a lot about anti, anti-right anti stuff about Trump or whatever, about how um, you know, the, the tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of tyrants. That's not the whole quote. The whole quote is, the tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants. Don't go cherry picking gets people in trouble nowadays is cherry picking so why we have so many different versions of Christianity and other religions is people cherry pick what they like and it fits their narrative and they run with it and create a new religion or a new political party so <clears throat> enjoy your memorial day have a great night have a great day tomorrow. And try to keep in mind, whatever you do tomorrow to celebrate, it was bought and paid for already. Have a nice night.